Welcome back to another showing of The Cocktail Enthusiast with myself, The Cocktail Enthusiast. And boy, do I have a cocktail for you guys today. We're looking at how to make a rose Montenegroni. Let's go. And remember, if you like what you're about to see, hit that like button, click that subscribe button, join the squad, join the crew, show your boy that love so he can continue to give you guys that entertaining juice, that flavor, that mm. Yeah. Now let's take a look at what you're gonna need to make this cocktail. You're gonna want rose gin. I'm using Dylan's Amaro Montenegro, sweet vermouth. I'm using Martini Rosso, or Rosso, however you wanna say it. And today's glass of choice, a rocks glass. As always, I'm using a Ziploc bag because we're making cocktails at home. And now, it's time to freak out! with your ingredients. First, you're gonna want one ounce of your rose gin. After this, we're gonna go with one ounce of your Amaro, Montenegro. Lastly, we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of your sweet vermouth. Oh my Lord. Don't worry, we spilled, we spill shit all the time. Now we're gonna go ahead and stir this mix for about, let's say 60 seconds. Get it nicely diluted to weaken that bite. Now if you want your cocktail with more kick, you can stir it for less, but I'm gonna go for the full 60 seconds. Next we're gonna get a nice clear ice cube into our rocks glass. And then we're gonna strain in our mix. As for our garnish, all we're gonna need is a single orange wedge. Just gonna drop it in the cocktail, let it sit. Doesn't really need to look fancy. And there you go. Now, it's time for our taste rating to see just what we're dealing with. Oh shit. Here we go again. Ooh, there's, ooh. <laughs> There are some powerful flavors coming together. There are some powerful flavors coming together. What I do know is that Amaro and Vermouth sandwich together and creates this maelstrom of chaos on your taste buds. You know, I feel like the rose gin really brings it all together. It keeps it very, it adds like a refreshing, neutral taste to it. What are you? I, I, I honestly, woo, for me, I'd say this is a good alternative to a Negroni for me personally. Uh, Campari, it's good. Sometimes it can be a little overbearing, but that Amaro with the sweet vermouth and rose gin, that's a match made in heaven. I, I just randomly came across it, or actually I just randomly thought of it and then said, you know what, this will make a good video, so I may as well make it. But I didn't think it would turn out, I guess, this potent. <laughs> But don't take my word for it. You take that sip and love life. So you can expect my next video next week or the week after, depending on how busy my day-to-day -day schedule is. But until then, you guys sink your teeth into this cocktail. Let me know if you like it, let me know if you don't, because I can take both ends of the spectrum. And yeah, so I'll see you for the next video. And remember, God damn, subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting for you.